A TikTok is blowing up where this husband is confronting his wife. Basically, this couple has been in an 11 year relationship and the husband saw something on the wife's phone. Probably some spicy messages, but he only caught a glimpse of it. So he decided to ask her, can I see these messages some more, right? Just to check if she's cheating, if she's hiding something, a loyalty test. But she refuses to give him the phone and then he starts filming the interaction. And it is very sus to say the least. You call your sister, I'm not gonna harm you, I'm not gonna hurt. I'm I'm not gonna put my hands on I you. Don't feel comfortable. I'm not gonna put my hands on you. I, you can call your sister. I tell you, I'm, I don't feel comfortable. I need to go. You can stay. You want, I thought you call. want to walk the dogs together. You can record whatever it is that you want to record. I'm gonna walk my dogs with you're me walking both the dogs and talk to my sister and tell her how uncomfortable I feel right now. She's gonna to go to bed. It's well past her bedtime, and I hope she picks up. How are you gonna? Like, this? I, I cannot. I cannot. I've, I've, you've known me for 11 years. I would never put my hands on you. I don't believe you. What? That's mine. Those are mine. Those aren't yours. I'm asking just to see you're a text asking. message. Yes, I am. You're, you're, no, and you're, you're getting not. really nervous and fidgety. I'm not getting nervous. I'm feeling very f uncomfortable. Why are you feeling uncomfortable? I just I, if you asked me, I would like, yeah, you could look. Because no. I have nothing to hide. You're, you're you have some, so you have something to hide. You have not actually done that what ever are, in your past. What is it you're hiding? I'm not hiding a phone. Then just hold your phone and let me see what you wrote. I am not hiding anything. Then, then hold your I phone am... and let me see what you wrote. Okay, I'm going to go. Liam, let's go. Right now. I can't. I made her cry. Yeah, I because you're be... you're cornered. I'm cornered. Yes, you because you're be because you're doing something that's wrong. That's I'm why. Not doing if, if you, that's then wrong. let me see. Hold your phone and let me see if you're not doing anything wrong. I'm doing that. that's wrong in the fact that you're... Because I saw the text messages that I read that you wrote was someone that's a little bit thirsty on your end. Again. <laughs> it's kind of like. Thirsty. Yeah, on your end. Okay, so lots to unpack there. She starts by saying that I'm gonna tell my sister that this is making me uncomfortable, implying that this is some fringe situation created by the husband to corner her or something, but this is just him checking if you're cheating. Also, if you are actually a loyal partner and you are being suspected of cheating, you that's something you'd want to clear up almost immediately. If you're actually loyal, you would have no problem just giving him the phone, letting him see the messages, because clearly you haven't been up to any shady business at all. The only reason you would have to hide the phone is because you've been cheating like emotionally or something. Now the next thing she did was pretty messed up. She basically said that I'm scared of you now that you're gonna hit me or something, which is insane because this man hasn't put his hands on you for 11 years of your relationship and suddenly now you're, you're scared of him out of the blue, which makes no sense. This is clearly some manipulation going on here to for her to get the better of the argument here. That is such a sneaky, slimy, way to fight back that really puts him in a very awkward position like he's not even allowed to check if his wife is cheating because she's gonna pretend she's getting hurt or something now the guy actually made an update video just clarifying some details about the situation but before that i just wanted to show you some twitter comments because because they're just actually hilarious the dog knows it all this is probably my favorite i mean the dog is literally warning you brother you gotta run for the hills immediately now most people are basically just telling him to move on here no sense applying pressure because the damage is done, plan the divorce. Yes, this, walk away while you can. Basically, people are saying that if she's not showing you the phone, that is literally an admission to cheating and you should just cut your losses. It might be an 11 year relationship and that's, that's pretty hard to accept, but you gotta move on at this point because even if she comes back now and the messages are completely clear, you can't trust her because she didn't show you in that moment. She could have like deleted her history and everything like that. Okay, somebody said the exact same thing and then she'll come back with a deleted history. Also, Doge ex Luffy. What is going on? Crypto and one P what? Dude, the number one most important thing in a relationship is trust. Once that is gone, there is nothing remaining. In a lot of ways, the smartphone and social media have killed traditional relationships. At least it's a huge test. Agreed, too much access to potentials. Okay, so I, I feel like this is true to an extent because you, you know now we have dating apps and Instagram, which is pretty much a dating app for, for a bunch of people. You have access to so many options that it becomes much more easier to cheat now. 
but that doesn't make it okay, obviously. I developed a new relationship rule of thumb during the Johnny Depp Amber Heard fiasco. If you're videotaping conversations with your spouse so you have proof, you have bigger issues than the one on the tape. That's almost certainly because, you know, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes, which we don't know about. But based on that video, that's the judgment I'm making, you know? The I feel comfortable or threatened ticket is hilarious. I've lived it. You've known me 11 years, he says. That's not on question, my brother. She knows that. It's just that she has no logical way to get out of the situation so she uses emotions against you pretty much fact update and background on the text message video you've watched i'm at a loss for words the blatant disrespect so i wanted to give an update and also a background on the video you saw of me asking my wife if i could see text message between a friend a guy who says a friend just friends we they go on hikes together with the dogs and i said okay can we see text messages so she walks out the door as you saw to call her sister and i sit and wait she comes back, cries to her sister about whatever, has her sister on speaker saying, my sister wants to speak to you. Her sister says, you need to leave. I just flew five and a half hours across the country into another country to visit my wife and spend time with her and we were supposed to go on a road trip. And now she doesn't feel safe with me after we've been together 11 years together, seven years married. Asking a simple question, can I see the text message between this friend of yours? No longer feels safe around me. When I've never, ever hit her, raised the hand to her, grabbed her, anything ever in our relationship. I'm in a different country. I don't know anyone. I don't have any friends. And she says, go back. I'm completely crushed. Completely, my heart is completely crushed. That is absolutely wild. Okay, her sister is as delusional and cringe as her. I don't know if she's just listening to whatever the the wife is just feeding her or something. This dude flew across the globe to meet his wife, and now he's getting kicked out of the house, dude. Eleven years gone down the drain. I feel so bad for this guy. There is legitimately no excuse for this because if the wife wasn't cheating, all you had to do was explain to him if this was some sort of elaborate troll to test his trust or something. Congrats, you've completely ruined your marriage. But I'm suspecting it's not because if you're going as far as to kick your husband out of the house who traveled across the globe to meet you, then you're clearly hiding something and you're, you're scared that you got caught cheating. So the top comment over here is going on hikes together is the first red flag. The so people are pointing out that, you know, it's okay to have a male friend, obviously, and you're allowed to interact with other people in the world, but having like intimate long walks with people alone in the mountains you know, possibly even okay if you're like really best friends or whatever, but they really need to be purely platonic and the, the, the husband probably needs to be good friends with this guy as well for that to be allowed. So people are just pointing out that, yeah, that sounds pretty sus. File for divorce, block her from calling, texting and all social media, never let her see you again and never look back. That's the best revenge. I, I agree. I don't know, man. I'm married. The only guy friends I have are my husband's friends and we are only together in group settings. Okay, that you don't have to go that extreme, but you know, that's a, if you want to do that for your husband, that's fine. Anyways, click this video or your wife hooks up with Adam22 and you don't want that.